What's up, YouTube? Savoji here, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time to Kylie Minogue, new artist for me. First time listen, heard of her. You know she's really big. Just haven't heard a song yet. So today we're gonna do that, and this one is brought to us from Karsten over on Patreon. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. So it says here, Kylie and Minogue is an Australian singer and actress. She's the highest selling female recording artist from Australia, having sold over 80 million records worldwide. That's insane. Referred to as the princess of pop, she has been recognized for reinventing herself in music and fashion as a style icon. Her accolades include two Grammy Awards, four Brit Awards, and 18 Aria Music Awards. In 2024, Time named her one of the most influential people in the world. Awesome. Pop, dance, and disco. This album, self-titled by the way, is the fifth studio album. And it is some more dance pop. Love that. There's the cover. No immediate US success, although I'm sure these songs are super popular now. The song we're listening to is called Confide in Me. And that is indie pop and trip hop. Oh, I was not expecting to read that. Trip Hop. All right. Released as the album's lead single, it is a song that incorporates elements of indie music, dance pop, and Middle Eastern instrumentation, such as strings and percussion. While the lyrical content talks about Minogue's earnest of seduction and manipulating people to confide in her. Well, you have my attention. Dance Club Songs 39, that's the billboard right there. UK Singles number two, UK Dance 4, UK Club Chart 5. It was really popular in the UK, this one. Really, really popular with some really good success in Europe and number one in Australia. So this was a um, really successful single. All right, let's go. This is the video as well. Here we go, guys.
just put a spell on me did did do I am I hexed what <laughs> what right away she has a very like uh, sultry voice when she's doing her like um a regular speaking singing voice there's a word for it I don't remember what it's called but then she also demonstrates this um really impressive side of her voice which you know gradually gets larger in the song and it's quite powerful so she has um, an interesting going on thing going on here where the song is building and the strings are adding to that as well the orchestral the orchestral um the strings and the sound and all kind of like builds into this it's very like mysterious sounding and very sweeping in sound it's very when it gets to the you know the top, which is like really opening up, it's just very um, like it's what a weird one. I think that's very weird but interesting, and I don't mean that in a bad way. But the lyrics are very ambiguous. I'm not really sure how to how to even take that. I mean, like I think maybe it's open to interpretation as well. But I mean, again, that also leaves it open for a more universal theme, though. It, it just depends on how the listener is trying to interpret the lyrics, I think. That's interesting, actually, now that I'm saying it. I don't I don't know if this is exactly what this page is saying here, um, where she's trying to be seduce she's trying to seduce and manipulate. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, I think everybody might take it differently. But I I do quite enjoy how the song builds and I think the, uh, like I said, the lyrics are open to interpretation, which is just very mysterious. And the song itself is a little hypnotic sounding, like, confide in me. And it's like, doo, doo, whoa. <laughs> she just keeps repeating it, and you're just like, I am. Yeah, I am confiding. <laughs> By the end, I'm like, wait, did, that, did it work? <laughs> it's crazy. That's a very interesting song. But anyway, yeah, there's a lot of interesting topics here you know like personal struggle relationships even societal issues could be interpreted here it's just a, a very moody mysterious song and i do feel like she put a spell on me so we'll leave it at that before you know and actually get off this page okay oh that was good i really enjoyed that um i'm interested to hear more of the um like the pop side maybe a, a dance big dance hit or something like that and because that was a little bit, you know, 
slower, obviously, although it had some really big build up. I'd like to get like a energetic song in here too as well. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Let me know what you think about this one down below, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.